Hello and welcome to part 11 of the character modeling tutorial. Um, let's continue from where we left off. So to begin now with this part, I will start by um, marking where the arm is going to start. So I won't forget about that again. However, I'm going to um, raise the height a bit of where the arm is and do some small um, adjustments while working because I already have some ideas of uh, how this uh, mark is often set. So it should be somewhere about around here. And it's not so we don't have to worry so much about the poly count just yet. Just make sure that this bump over here will connect um, into this direction on the side. Um, just make space for that. Um, it also has anatomical reasons because of the muscle flow. Um, yeah, that's good I think. Let's move it a bit out and twist it a little bit. Yeah, that should be right. Mm, now let's start with the back. I think that's good. We'll start with um, the spine and extrude it upwards like like this to about here. That should be good. And then I will um, do this and connect this one down again so that we have uh, no, actually not connected to here. Let's disconnect it like this. This should be good. And this will then give us um, this turn we need for the shoulder plate. The only thing I don't like is that it is still way too low. Uh, let's rip this off and connect it like this so that we have this curvature later on when, when we need it. Um, so until then we'll adjust uh, our bodies again. And then, as I said, into this direction. And we'll connect to the arm about here. And move these two a bit more together. These two edges. All right. Now, this part here will give us um, you know the lower end of the shoulder plate I think you could say it like that so just telling you so you know what we're working on okay yeah this part will definitely um, look weird once we're done I think so at least, um, but it's the same situations as we had it already quite often. We just have to go back then and do our modeling work le uh, later on instead of doing everything perfect right away. Let's see, so these will connect and then we have two here but only one loop here, so let's add another one so that everything matches. Connect all this and then from down here there are two loops and let's continue to work with those as well. Okay, so so where we worry roughly you see we have shoulder plates. Of course they look horrible, but let's um not worry about that right now. So the shoulder will be around here. You really see how um, less I less and less I'm actually in the side or front view to actually view the reference. It is enough to uh, to see just um, the work itself. I think. I mean, if you imagine you were a sculptor and you work with Z brush or any other program, 
you didn't even need a reference so it is really hard to do that with polygon modeling in my opinion but um, to this amount of, of freedom you should uh, probably get as well I think that is a good thing because it will help you a lot uh, if you're a bit more free from the references you'll be much more flexible in whatever you do so I mean because if you cannot find a blueprint of the object you want to model or you know if you don't have a character sheet for the character you'll never be able to model one um, <laughs> another good reason why I should learn to draw <laughs> yeah so this is good for now I think this is where the neck will start and everything and we'll work on that later on and the shoulder plates look okay they're not perfect but uh, if we continue to be unhappy with them then we will change them later on but as for now I don't I'm not able to judge them so well um, on just this part here without knowing about everything else so I'm going to leave it as it is yeah but it doesn't look so bad anyways All right, let's continue to the front. So here I like to start out with um, a plane. And you'll see why uh, right away. It also has a, a, um, a reason with um, topology. So you see, we can create um, the shape of the breast in many ways but uh, the way I like to do it is create just this cube with one face missing then subdivide it and set the smoothness high okay just avoid to uh, have disconnected so the shape is obviously very often stupid but um, you see the structure of how this um, is formed uh, the way the edges uh, go that is uh, what I want to use here um, so yeah, let's do all the adjustment work again. But that's, from my experience, the easiest part, uh, the, the easiest, um, sorry, the, the easiest method to go about that. And so just so you know, we'll be connecting this down here and over here we'll see later on how we will fix that since there is some hmm we should have done it differently <laughs> let's delete those loops again um actually i want to have not just one subdivision but two instead then smooth it again and scale it up you know it's not so big of a deal you didn't lose much because you see now we have enough vertices to work with and we have a higher resolution of the thing in general which is good for us as long as it is, it is not too high so let's connect these now and these here and these here okay and then start modeling until you're satisfied with your result now one thing you might want to um, make sure though is over here I'm going to rip this open this one loop and connect this one with or actually let's create one subdivision it should look about like this here um, that's just because of the muscle flow as I mentioned earlier you will see if you look at your arm or something there is this muscle that goes right in there and by connecting our vertices like this we'll be able to imitate something very similar um, just make 
sure it is really at the right position, not off as it was here. And also it's okay to move it out like that. You see even in the drawing there is this, um, this little line that indicates this. And especially with the clothing that we have, um, this area will be visible. And for proportional editing, you can also change the shape, by the way. That will make it easier for various situations to find a better, um, yeah, better editing method. And again, uh, this is one of those um, parts that you can work a lot with um, the smooth tool. Um, that's what I al almost always do here. And if I don't use smooth, I use uh, the normal grab uh, translation thing uh, with proportional editing on. Because normally um, by smoothing it, the entire thing yeah, it, it's, it's smooth. So by doing then proportion editing, I ensure that it remains smooth. Because we don't want to have anything sticking out like that and it will create bumps and stuff and weird def deformations, things we don't want in general. So let's make sure we don't have that. By the way, with control E, you can open up this menu and there is select loop uh, or and uh, the, the inner region that will select the entire face within the loop that you've selected. That's also helpful. And if you don't find a feature that I use with space, you can simply find anything here. Uh, at what was it? Or isn't? Or is that not the case? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure, but most things you can find here as well. Worth giving it a try if you want to search for anything. Okay, and slowly it's starting to look okay. You now you always have to play around a lot with everything until you're satisfied. But that's what modeling is about after all, so I don't think you'll mind that. So we have still quite a bit uh, left to do. We'll take care of this area here in the next video. Thank you for watching as always.